If you just watch them in the sky, they can fly like nothing else. Whether they are in your belfry or not, bats get a bad rap. In fact, up close, they're kind of cute. They're mammals, not birds. The only mammals on Earth that can fly under their own power. We take video, high-speed video of bats from multiple angles, from four different high-speed cameras. So we're interested in the mechanics of bat flight and how they fly. This is a facility that we use to study the flight behavior of the bats. With support from the National Science Foundation, biologist Sharon Swartz and engineer Kenny Breuer at Brown University use a wind tunnel to study bats in flight. So this is a uh, Mexican free-tail bat. We take high-speed an analysis of this to figure out exactly where the wing is moving. The team can see the wake bats leave behind, their lift and thrust, and how they maneuver. A bat can make a 180-degree turn at full tilt in three wing beats and go back the other way. It's a pretty amazing creature. Unlike birds or insects, Bats' wings are shaped like a human hand and are covered with skin, so they grasp the air in flight, and the skin stretches like a sail in a breeze. They can bend all their joints, uh, and they can move the fingers to change the shape of the wing during flight. You can see the thumb, and then the second and third, and fourth and fifth fingers. And this skin is so stretchy, and embedded within this skin are special muscles that allow it to use this wing in a way that would be impossible for any other flying animal. Imagine designing aircraft with this dexterity. That's what scientists say could happen. And we're just skimming the surface. I did not grow up loving that. But for 20 years now, I have come to see the incredible beauty in their bodies and wings and faces. The more I study them, the more incredible things I learn. With so many bat species, 1,200 in all, studying each one could drive anyone batty. But not here. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.